What's up guys, this is Thibaut. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a funnel with system.io. So it's a funnel builder. You have a freemium plan if you wanna try it. Click on the link in the description if you wanna try it, okay? So I wanna create a funnel with three basic steps. So the first one will be the sales page with uh, the description of my product. The second page will be the payment page and the last page will be the thank you page, okay? so. When you have created a system.io account, you just need to click on Funnels and click here Create. And now system.io is pretty cool because uh, they ask you what do you want to do. Do you want to build an audience? Do you want to sell? Do you want a custom funnel? Do you want to run an evergreen webinar? So when you have a freemium plan, you cannot do everything. But I know for sure that when you have a freemium plan, you can create your first funnel for free. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how to create a funnel to sell an info product. Info. Okay. And I just wanna sell, okay? You can choose your funnel domain. And of course I have made a video with how to set up everything on the settings in system.io. Just check my, uh, my channel, I, you will find this video pretty easy. Then you um, choose which currency you are using. So if you are in the USA, of course, you will try to use US dollar and I'm in Europe, so I will use Euro, okay? And I just wanna sell, so I will click here and create, okay? So right now, what they did is create a funnel for me with two steps, only order form and a thank you page, okay? But what I wanna do is also create a page uh, where I put all my description, what I'm selling, why I'm selling it, what is the problem, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So I'm just gonna create a step here, sell this page, the type, so it will be a sales page, <laughs> sorry, quite my mistake, and save, okay? So now I have three steps, order form, thank you page, and sales page, but they are not in the right order. What you can do is click here and do a drag and drop, pretty easy. So now uh, it is saved automatically. So my funnel is made of three steps, so sales page, order form, and thank you page, okay? In the sales page, you have template that you can choose and start from here, or you can start from scratch if you want to start from scratch, okay? But in my example, I'm gonna go easy and show you how to do it with a page that is already down, okay? So I'm just gonna preview this one because it seems fine. Okay, so a lot of uh, information, some prices. Okay, maybe not this one. So we can try to find another one that suits you uh, well. Maybe this one. Okay, not this one as well. I don't know. Uh, maybe this one. Okay. So I'm gonna choose this one. So I'm just gonna click select and now my sales page is made with this template. I can save. I can change the URL here, my product, for instance. Do not forget every time you do a change to click save here, okay? You can preview. So right now my page will like this. Okay, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna show you automation rules and A-B tests and stats and sales uh, for, um, now, but you will have other videos that uh, explain everything about this, okay? So right now I'm just gonna show you how to implement all these three steps and actually run this funnel and make it real and like this you can make your first sales online, okay? So I choose the template of the sales page. I'm gonna choose now the template of my order form um, so maybe something that look like my uh, sales page, so something black and white and blue, okay, so go back to order form. Uh, I don't really like this one, I'm gonna check this one, okay, so like this one. So this is order form. You are not obligated to change the URL path, but you can, of course, so save, and the thank you page. And I'm just gonna uh, select this one and save as well. You can change again the URL path. Okay, so now I have choose my 
three templates for the sales page, order form, and thank you page. And now I'm gonna show you how to edit the sales page, order form, and thank you page to make it more like your business. So change the text, change the colors, change the image, pictures, whatever, okay? Okay, so maybe you're gonna see the first time the builder of system.io. So on the sales page, you click here, edit. And now we are going into editing the sales page. Okay, so as you can see, there is blocks everywhere on the right. So this is how the sales page look like. And here it's elements that you can put and delete uh, as your convenience to create your own sales page, okay? So it's pretty easy, okay? So I don't need a menu here because it's only a funnel with no other pages. So maybe what you can do is like delete this, okay? Now I just have like a photo behind, some text, a button to book a free call, um, some text that explain everything that I do, what I sell, etc. okay? So I'm not gonna change a lot, but, but maybe what you can do is when I've showed you how to use the builder, maybe pause and create your own sales page, okay? So what you need to do now here is try some elements, okay? So maybe you can put some text with drag and drop uh, elements, headline text, you can put a content box, you can create a new column, a new section. So for instance, I need a section between these two sections. What you need to do is click here, sections, and add it here, okay? Now there is a row, empty row, so maybe what I can do is put three rows. And then what I can do now is put a button here, checkbox, form input, or whatever, okay? So you need to be, I don't know, creative to create something great, but if you follow the template that they gave you, it's pretty cool already. So maybe change the text, the photo, etc. So for instance, I want to change the um, text in the button. Instead of book a free call, it's maybe, uh, yeah, I want to buy your stuff, okay? So I have click on the button. Here on the left, the window change, and now I can edit the button. So I can change like margin on top. I can put it in the middle, on the right, on the left. I can say it's for with if uh, I'm doing like smartphone stuff I can change the URL or maybe what I need to do is just say next step URL and now every time someone click on my button they will arrive on the payment page okay so this is really important to do that otherwise you need to put your own URL if maybe like you have set up Calendly somewhere in your website or in system.io to book uh, a call but I don't want to book a call I want to sell my stuff right so just say next step URL and I'm just going to change the text so here button text you just say yes I want maybe in capital, yes, I want to buy your stuff, okay? <laughs> um, this, this is just an example, right? <laughs> you don't need to put text like this, maybe change, I need to do copywriting, but it will be like something like, yes, I want to take action. Yes, I want to, uh, um, see what you can deliver to me. Yes, I want to uh, uh, have more advice, something like this. But it's just an example to show you how to change your button text, right? You can add subtext here if you want. You can change the font size. You can change the text font. Pretty ugly what I've done, but whatever. You can change the background color, the text color, etc. You can put some padding on top, like this. Bottom, left, right, corner size, if you wanna do round corner size, yeah. You can put also some border with like, uh, I'm just gonna show you with red solid, dashed, and like it's five pixel. Didn't work, sorry. So 
I'm gonna try again. Powder dirted. No, it doesn't work. Okay, whatever. Okay, none. It's pretty ugly what I wanted to do, but just show you you can do a lot of stuff. And you can say that this, this item is visible only on desktop or mobile. Right now I'm just gonna don't change anything. I just wanted to show you how to edit Everton. It will be the same stuff on text. You can put uh, italic uh, with uh, a line under it, a bar. You can create a new link, www.google.com, etc. etc. Do not forget to save here, otherwise it will not work. And if you want to break it, just break it here and do not forget to save changes every time you've done something because if your connection is lost you will have to redo everything you have changed on the sales page right so try it have fun change images uh, put button do not forget to set up your button with uh, next step you are everywhere delete what you do not need and of course save change at the end okay so when you have edit all your design just need to click here and exit the sales page all right on the order form you will do the same stuff so edit page i already have like some step uh, payment so contact information payment method uh, your order and some text here so this is exactly the same as usual uh, here what you need to do is uh, just change the text if you want to change the form input you can add some form input you can put a checkbox for example for the sales terms so they need to actually uh, say okay I'm okay with the sales term here yes I agree to the sales terms so maybe you need to create a new page and put the link on the sales terms okay so what I want to do here is put it on the left, sorry. Um, just change the font size. It's a bit too, it's, uh, it's too big for me. And then maybe put it a bit on the left, uh, on the right, sorry, with the left margin, something like this, to make it look uh, a bit better and some space here as well, okay? Here you are, you have, um, so the visitors that's come to your page will have to click on yes, I agree to the systems before putting it is credit card and payment method and to follow the payment method. So you need to save change. You have like the this uh, stuff here. What you need to do is put on the settings and go down and hide the display affiliate page here. Disappeared, just save. Okay, just coming back here. Okay, everything is fine for me. So change the color, change the text, change everything you need to change, okay? And do not forget again to save changes and leave, all right? Now we're gonna edit the thank you page. So it will be the same exercise, edit page. And you will have all the information that you need to so change all the color, the text that you need, okay? Do not forget to save change and leave. So just put pause maybe on the video and edit all your page, so sales page, order form, and sync page. Okay, when you have done the design, which is kind of long, uh, certainly, uh, and the copywriting as well, but this is really important to do it and to make it look like your uh, branding. So you put your logo, put your images, put your uh, text, your own colors, etc. It's very important to do it, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to implement uh, the prices because right now we didn't say how much the stuff that we sell costs, right? So you do not see any price here because we didn't set up the pricing of the order form, okay? So what you need to do here is offer price plans, is click here plus and create a new price. Say, I'm gonna say example. Put the offer price name so put like for instance it's if it's an ebook put, put the name ebook stuff like this statement descriptor on the bank account of your customer they will see the name example right now and 
you will be able to choose if it's a one shot payment, a subscription or a payment plan. So three times payment, for instance, or two times payment or whatever. OK, I'm just going to go for, for the one shot and say it's 100 euros and it's without VAT right now. When you put the price here, it's without VAT. So if you want a price uh, to be 100 euros max with VAT, you need to do your own uh, calculation here. So in France, it's 20% uh, VAT. So I will say it's 80 euros to reach um, 100 euros um, with VAT. OK, I'm going to click Save. And do not forget to save here. Otherwise, your price plan will not be saved. All right. So click here. Now it is saved. All right. Uh, so now if you go on the sales page, on the form page, right, you will see uh, the price 80 euros. So yeah, I made a mistake. It's not, under the, it's not 80 to reach 100 euros, but you get the how to do it now. <laughs> uh, it will have to be like 100 1.2 so it will be like 83.33 to reach 100 euros with VAT okay I'm just gonna show you a quick stuff right now if you do not charge VAT you just need to put go on settings and and go payment page setting yeah and click here don't charge VAT to customer on payment pages all right now you know uh, to avoid paying VAT for your customers if you don't need to. Okay. Um, I have made a video to show you how to connect PayPal and here on the settings of the order form, you can choose uh, on the sales finals, you can choose the payment method. So you need to set up PayPal, you need to set up uh, Stripe, for example, stuff like this to be able to have the payment methods. You can have set up Stripe and PayPal, but maybe the price do not appear here. So yeah, just check the settings of your finals and click the payment method that you want to allow to your visitors and future customers, all right? So right now it's pretty clear. You have the sales page that say what you sell. You have the order form for people to actually put their credit card and you have a thank you page. OK, but we didn't deliver anything. So the resources can be anything you want to be. So it can be um, a membership course, uh, a course bundle, a physical product. You can put a tag, send an email, that's an email with an ebook, stuff like this. Um, and you can also uh, sell uh, courses, but you need to create the course before and put it here. OK, if it's just a services, maybe uh, then you need to contact them after the sale is made okay so right now our funnel is pretty much done because you have set up we have set up and you have set up the three steps so sales page order form and thank you page do not forget to uh, say what is your resources if you need to put a, an automation email you need to go here automation rules add a rule say when someone trigger a new sale we will add an action and send an email. So we edit the email and you put whatever you want in it and maybe add the attachment. So maybe the, the ebooks that you sell for 100 euros. OK. Do not forget, of course, to save and save the role. And like this, it is done. So every time someone uh, order from your funnel, they will receive an email with the ebook or whatever. Okay, so this is pretty much it. So three steps funnel, and now I'm just gonna uh, show you how to create a new step, which is um, an upsell. Okay, so upsell is when someone put their credit card in it. You can ask them if they want something else. So maybe a call with you that costs 500 euros, or maybe a new ebook, a second ebook with uh, like 50 euros stuff. So it depends on what you sell. It depends on what uh, your offer are. It depends on what services or product you sell and what you uh, can um, provide to your uh, audience and customers. So I'm just going to create a new step. Let's say upsell. Click upsell and save. Now the upsell need to be 
after the order form, okay? So you, again, they ask you if you want to use the template. Of course, we're going to do that because it's easier. I'm going to select this one. Okay, so I'm go just going to show you how it looks. Okay, so same stuff here. You need to edit this page, put your own uh, pictures, uh, data, text. If you want again to, to not show the Powered by system data, I'm going to show you again. You go on settings, go down and do not display and save. Okay. And to put the, the price of this upsell, this is the same exercise. You put, you click plus on the offer price plan and choose a price that you already created or create a new one. I'm going to do the same. So it's all, uh, also 80 euros without VAT and click save. And now when I go back to this page, if someone clicked on add to order now for 96 euros, they will be charged 96 euros plus the 96 euros of the first order form. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Now we have four steps. So I'm going to show you every step and I open them in new tab. So first you send people on this page. Okay. They see what you sell. They like what you sell. So they're going to click here and arrive on the order form. Okay. On the order form, they put all the data that you need. Name, family name, phone number, and of course the credit card number, to receive the 96 euros payment, okay? When they put all the information here, they will arrive on this upsell and say, hey, this is not done yet. I have a special offer for you. You can have uh, the secret of digital marketing of, of 2020 for only 96 euros. Are you sure you wanna have it? Yes, so if they click here, they will be charged again 96 euros. If they don't want to, they will just click here. No, thanks. I don't need this. And they will arrive either way, if they click here or here on the thank you page. Of course, if they click here, they double, you double charge them. So you made an upsell. So you sell more. Your basket is uh, a bit higher, of course, because you have made two times 96 euros instead of only, only 96 euros. Okay. And then they arrive on the thank you page and you are done. You have created your first funnel with System.io and with me, Thibaut. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, subscribe and put comments in it if you want more tutorial of how everything works in System.io. Uh, do not hesitate. And also I have made a special courses for free. Uh, you have the link in the description. I will put more data and more video to explain more stuff on System.io. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye.